How common are IVC filters used in the U.S. population? The attorneys at Benstershai Law Group explain. The devices are most common with trauma patients, bariatric patients, and orthopedic surgeries. The annual implantation of these devices has grown from 49,000 in 2004 to over 260,000 by 2012. The device was introduced in 1979, and its use has increased continuously through the years. The devices that are part of the litigation that our firm is working on were implanted in 2002 and later. The device is tailored towards patients with certain medical conditions, so there is not an age or gender that more commonly uses the implant. IVC filters are associated with potential risks, like damaging veins and failing to stop blood clots from bypassing the device. Any procedure involving the placement of a catheter inside a blood vessel carries certain risks. These risks include damage to the blood vessel, bruising or bleeding at the puncture site, infection and allergic reaction. The IVC filter could migrate, penetrate through the vein, break loose, or become scarred to the vein and cannot be removed. In 2010, the FDA warned the retrievable filters posed risks of filter fracture, device migration, and organ perforation, and should be removed as soon as the patient's risk for blood clots subsided. The FDA updated safety communication in 2014, stating most devices should be removed between the 29th and 54th day after implantation but the warning signs came too late for some. For a free phone consultation, contact attorneys at Fenstershive Law Group PA in Hollandale Beach, Florida today. With the right legal team behind you, Fenstershive Law Group PA will fight the system with you to get the compensation you are legally entitled to.